hello, uh, what's this? this? This isn't a pickups video, <laughs> hey! You'll be glad to hear, it's not a Q&A video either. It's something else entirely, I just wanted to, um, just wanted to tell you a bit about uh, <laughs> a couple of my adventures. Just, uh, that's what I'll, I'll, I'll say for now. Um, yeah, I, uh, I went out recently, just every so often like that, I'll go for a sort of scout around as you do. And I went down to um, went down to Walthamstow. Who, by the way, anybody knows Walthamstow? It looks like they've closed down their game station, which is really really disappointing. But now I walked. Um, they've got uh, cash converters there, and I bought some stuff from there in the past. Some pretty good stuff. I bought um, a cheap. Uh, a cheap copy of God Hand. So it's, it's always worth going. It's, they're a bit changeable in there, but it's always worth going to have a look. Oh, twitchy eye. Do you ever get a twitchy eye? Really irritating. Um, so I went down to have a look, but the last two last two occasions I've gone in there, I've been served by the same woman, and all of their prices in the shop. Um, end with 99p that'll be however many pounds and 99p a god hand was 299 and i bought um i've bought a ps1 game for 99p in the past and the last two occasions i've um paid and then the first time i didn't get it didn't get a one penny coin back the second time the same woman who served me said um Oh, sorry, we were out of one penny coins, and for some reason, you know, I, I didn't, I didn't, uh, I, I didn't bother arguing anything, so I just left it. But it, just, it seemed a bit strange that the um, that the same thing happened twice. I just, I, for some reason, they're a bit phobic about giving out um, giving out one penny coins. So you know, it's one penny coins. You can't get too, you can't get too pissed off about one p. I mean, uh, if it was a charity shop, I wouldn't bother. But um. I went into yeah, I went into this cash converters, and I was thinking if I do see something that I, if I do see something that I want to buy, and uh, and you know I'll have to go and pay for it, and I'll, I'll I'll be able to see if it's um if if it's just something they do for some reason they don't want to give out one penny coins or they've not got any or something like that I don't know which is a bit strange considering every single price in the whole shop. Is um, pounds plus ninety nine p? Oh, however many pounds plus ninety nine p? You know, it's just really weird. So I looked around, and the only thing I found was this. I thought, yeah, pretty good. I love that, especially it was ninety nine ninety nine p, and it was a uh, Odd World Age Exodus. So this is a game that's on my list. And it's a good game. Uh, an improvement, uh, I've not played it, an improvement over um, Abe's Odyssey um, because it's got better save system, apparently. So I went, I went up to the counter, took up to the counter, I had a pound coin, so you know, exact money, pretty much. And uh, I, I gave it to her and she scanned it through, printed out a receipt, it said, sorry, we've, we've not got any one penny coins. <laughs> And I just kicked off. I, I'm not. I'm not sort of. It just looked a bit. It's just too suspicious. And uh, I said, "You never have one penny coins. Why don't you have one penny coins? This isn't a charity. This is a business. This is your. You're in it for the profit. I mean, if if I, if I was buying buying the game the game from a charity shop, I wouldn't give a shit. But you're a business. And so I was, I was already. I was, I was quite surprised myself actually, because. Um, I could have easily just sort of uh, thought, backed down, you know, and bottled it, but I didn't. And I said, I just, <laughs> what, what is it? Are you are you putting a fast one? You spinning me a line? You seriously don't have any one penny coins? Because this is this is I've been in there so many times before, and you've never given me a one penny coin. And I was thinking to, I was in the back of my mind, I think, oh, you cheap bastard! You're such a cheap git. You're complaining. <laughs> you're complaining about one penny coins. I just think it's the principle. I just had to stand by my guns. I mean, I, 
it, it seemed because it, it was so regular. It seemed like it was it was just sort of this shop policy. Maybe it's to to sort of somehow skim a bit more extra a bit extra profit out of it. I mean, it's 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 one percent in a pound, isn't it? If they not if they don't want to give out coppers, why just write, why don't they just round up their prices? So I uh, I sort of kicked up a fuss, and you know, she goes, okay, I was, and she wait here a minute, and she she went off. She went off. And I reckon that's. I reckon this is. The, they, they've got a two-stage process. The first one is that they just don't give out, give out, um, give out coppers. The second one is that if anyone kicks up a fuss, because she actually, she actually smiled at me. She knew. She's obviously had people complaining before, because she smiled. It was a sort of a smile of recognition. And so did her, uh, her work colleague. Had the same sort of smile of recognition. So I'm mostly not the first person to kick off. So. She, she she goes away, and I reckon this is the second the second uh, uh, point in the process is that they um, they go and probably sort of stand in the back in the back room and give you about sort of five minutes to sort of to stew over in your mind and then and to, to to realise how foolish you are quibbling over one penny and I very nearly I very nearly caved I very nearly <laughs> I saw sort of, such an idiot standing there at the till. Just waiting for my one p, one p, and I very nearly caved and left. Sort of fuck it, and I left. But she came back and she gave me one p. And I went, cheers and left. And I walked off up the, up the road, feeling slightly slightly foolish, slightly ridiculous, but also so sort of proud and smug that I'd stuck by my guns. And I was thinking, yes, this is sort of like a a, a small victory for the for the you know the. Uh, Small victory for the small man against the mighty corporate behemoth that is cash converters. Although um, I do think that actually, um, I think they're all privately owned, so well, <laughs> that doesn't really work. But still, it's a profit-making business. And if they're going to take one p, if they're going to take one p from from people every single every single transaction, and I don't think they don't have coppers. They don't have two p's either because she tried to get me to give her. a to give her um, a 5p, was it? She wanted me to give her 4p or something so she could give me a 5 penny coin back. But, so I was sort of smug, you know, I was smug and I sort of went, went back and that was it, I went back and sort of got on the train and just sort of sat in there, sort of like a, with this sort of smug self-satisfaction, sort of a, like the smell of your own fart sort of um, thing. And I thought oh, I'll just check it. I'll check check it through the game. I'll just have a quick, quick look to see what condition it is because it was it was um, taped up over the end. <laughs> it wasn't <laughs> after all that. After I'd stuck by my guns. After I stuck by my guns, it didn't have disc one. I only had disc two. Which actually, to be fair. <laughs> Pretty nice nick. The manual was a bit weather beaten. Ah, oh, just I was so close, so close. But the moral of the story is, um, don't fight it. Don't fight it. Just sort of uh, bend over and take it like a man, because they'll get you in the end, bastards. <laughs> so I'll be looking out. I'll be looking out for a. I'll be looking out for uh, a disc one for uh, for this from now. What are oh, so close? It's just and uh, on the way home. On the way home, I stopped off at a charity shop, a couple of charity shops, just to um, you know, just to cheer myself up a bit. <laughs> cheer myself up a bit. I'm going to be looking out for for dirt cheap disc one. To cheer myself up a bit. And I thought I've got a score, I've got a score, because I've got, look at that. It's uh, Final Fantasy VII original soundtrack by Nobuo, Nobuo Uematsu. Yep. Sealed, look at that. It's all brand new. For three pounds, three pounds. Yeah. Oh, I've got a score. And, well, the, the thing is, I know how much these go for because you can get them for they, they, Amazon themselves are still selling these for 66 quid. You get them direct from Amazon. And uh, an unsealed one will, is about sort of £30 on eBay. And I thought, wow, I can't. 
It's a brilliant farm, I can't really afford to keep it. But I did some research into it because I, I checked out the, the old, um, the sort of the, the finished uh, auctions and there, there was a one that had this front cover that was a square is, issued by Squaresoft, but I think that was a reissue from 2005. Um, sorry, Square Enix um, reissued it themselves. But then I think the, the original one from 1997 was by a company called was it Digicon? Sort of Digicon Media or something. And both, if you can get a, like a Squaresoft one or an original issue, they're, they're both worth quite a lot of money. But this wasn't either of them. It was um, K&O Records Limited. So I uh, googled K&O Records Limited and from my uh, investigations I discovered that, that this is a bootleg. <laughs> So again, two, two lots of disappointment. I've got that piece of shit there. And this, I think I was, I was sort of all like happy and smug again. Sort of my, my smugness had resurfaced. But no, it's a bootleg. So now, now it's a keeper, I suppose. It's a keeper. I might as well unseal it. I mean, the strange thing is because it, it's, it looks to be in really nice, it's, it's a nice thing. It's not cheap looking. It's not cheap and nasty by any stretch of the imagination. I mean, the, the print, the, the the text on the cover may be a bit sort of a furry around the edges. And um, I'm a bit, I was always a bit suspicious about the spine because it didn't look too official. And obviously there was no, there's nothing on the bottom either. And it was it's just a little bit sparse and all the sort of the the, the legal jargon, the technical information, but. But I, I, I thought it was a genuine thing and I was going to whack it straight on eBay, but, you know, and uh, sit back and reap the benefits, but no. <laughs> My hopes have been dashed. <laughs> there you go. That's it. Two towels of woe, two towels of woe, yeah. <sighs> Disappointment. Look out for another video. Thanks for watching. See you later. That was fun, wasn't it?